Hi everyone, so what could bring me back out of semi-retirement to rake a new video for you? Well, this is something so rage-inducing um, that it has to be spoken about, really. So, you may be aware of a company called VTech. They make um, learning tools for children. Parents buy them in their thousands, and they're normally kind of like a cut-down laptops or iPad-style things with plastic shells and basic software. And it's all designed as a learning aid for children. You know, learn your ABCs, learn your times tables, and so on. Now, last year, there was a major security issue over at VTech. Someone, uh, a security researcher, discovered that VTech basically had decided not to take children's security even remotely seriously. Um, they weren't salting their MD5 passwords and hashing. There was no SSL encryption anywhere. SQL statements were returning in, returned in API calls. Um, basically, you, you put together a list of every security um, violation you could possibly think of, and VTech probably did it. Um, essentially, they were grossly incompetent in looking after the data that parents were asking them to look after on the, the child's behalf, essentially. Now, why this has uh, now raised its ugly head again is because VTech have decided that rather than actually dealing with the problems, because their platform is donkeys old and they probably can't fix a lot of these problems without scrapping the whole thing and starting again, they've decided to simply change their terms and conditions. Now listen to this. The new terms and conditions state that you acknowledge and agree that any information you send or receive during your use of the site, that's VTech's site, may not be secure and may be interpreted or later acquired by unauthorized parties. Wow. So what VTech are saying here is, if you use our services, you do so at your own risk, we are not going to give you any guarantee that we can look after your child's data. So if that child has, for instance, uploaded photographs, as some VTech products seem to do, if the parent has allowed for credit card information and address details and even phone numbers to be held by VTech, VTech can't guarantee its safety. Simple as that. So here is a company who has built its entire, well, company, its bet its farm, as it were, on children's products, yet these connected children's products are not secure. And VTech say they can't guarantee it. Now, I think it's pretty obvious any parent is going to look at this and simply say, well, why should I buy a VTech product? If they can't guarantee the safety of the data that they are hoovering up on my child's behalf and my behalf, why should I buy their product? And actually, that is exactly the thing we need to be saying here. These connected devices, these Internet of Thing devices, as we are now calling them, unfortunately, they are a huge security threat. And it doesn't matter whether we're dealing with kids' toys, like Barbie dolls with webcams in them. Who the hell thought that would be a good idea? Or if we're dealing with, you know, a connected light switch in your home, or connected boiler, or even something as simple as a wall socket that also happens to be connected to the Internet. It's becoming more and more important that we secure our own lives and only have devices within our environment that we can guarantee are secure, or at very least the company is prepared to say we are going above and beyond in securing these products. VTech are basically saying, don't buy our product, please don't buy our product, please don't buy VTech's products, we can't secure your children's data, we can't secure your data. If it's a connected VTech product, please don't buy it. And I would echo that sentiment. VTech are being very good here, really. They're screaming from the top of their lungs, we are not going to be able to keep this data secure. Please don't buy our products. Actually, they're not. They're burying it in the terms and conditions. But you get my point. By saying that they can't secure our data, they've invalidated themselves as an Internet of Things company. Doubly so because they are dealing with children's data. Do not buy VTEX products. I really do hope that they take a good kicking over this uh, next year, see their products simply disappear from store shelves as retailers realise you can't stock a product for children, which has zero security built in, really, to prevent data from being stolen. VTEC have shown through their complete lax approach to security of their own platforms, they aren't to be trusted and they certainly shouldn't be getting your money. <laughs>